As you can see from the energy level diagram on screen, we can represent atomic orbitals with a single line, which each hold two electrons. S orbitals have one orbital, P has three, and D has five. There are seven orbitals in F orbitals, but these are not illustrated in this diagram. All elements want to be stable, and to do this, they must house their electrons in such a way that their overall energy is as low as possible. Therefore, the electrons occupy the lowest energy level available. This is known as the ground state electronic configuration. Let's take helium as an example. We know helium has two electrons, and following the Schrodinger wave equation, there are enough electrons to completely fill the lowest energy level, which is the 1s orbital. But what happens if we were to take an element like oxygen, which has eight electrons? Well, we know that there are not enough electrons to completely fill the 2p orbital, and as such, the electrons fill the orbital one by one and only pair up when there are no other orbitals with the same energy level available. This leaves us with valence electrons. But some elements don't have any valence electrons because they completely fill the energy levels within their orbitals. These elements are known as noble gases and include the elements helium, neon and argon. As we can see in the diagram, 4s is the next energy level that needs to be filled. Calcium is doing this for us now. Once this has been filled, the 3d energy level can start to be occupied by the electrons. They start again by filling each orbital one by one and only pair up when forced to do so, as seen here by iron. The energy of orbitals is very important throughout chemistry. Such things as redox reactions, crystal field theory, para and diamagnetism, and the reason why, as to coordination compounds are coloured, can all be explained by the energy of orbitals. But you will learn more about all of these in your introductory chemistry lectures.